If you love Jesus, John chapter 8, verse 31 says, Then said Jesus to those Jews, I thought you didn't prepare for this lesson. I, I already know that verse. Well, he then said, you prepared a lot. See, 8, verse 31. you prepared and didn't you know even why? know it. What? How? Bible quizzing. Bible. <gasps> Plug for Bible quizzing right there. Then said Jesus to those Jews that believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth. Now this is what this whole thing's about. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall, shall make you free. free. That's free. right. We're talking about freedom today, right? Today we're talking about anything that you guys struggle with, that I struggle with, that you struggle with, because God wants us to be free of everything. Anything that holds yes. us back from being everything that he wants us to be. Anything and everything. Everything. That's right. Now, there's one more verse that's super important. Verse 36 says, If the Son, therefore, shall make you free. Uh -huh. Do you remember the rest of this? Ye shall. ye shall be. Now, if you guys know this verse, I need you guys to shout it together with us, okay? There's two more words, okay? Uh, let's do it again. I if the shall. Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye, ye shall, shall be free, free indeed. indeed. Woo! That's right. Free that means indeed. if Jesus has set you free, nobody can ever put you back into bondage unless you choose, you it. choose it. That's right. Uh, do you remember what yesterday was? Fourth uh, of June. I mean, I mean, I mean no. January. No, 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 no. Keep going. It's the J. Julian. Fourth of Julian. Yeah. Well, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. For July. 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 Fourth of July. July. Independence just, Day. There's so many J things. In That's right. There's a lot of J things like, like oh juice. Yeah. The fourth and like, of, no, stop. The You're getting me like distracted. Jochebed and <laughs> Jeremiah and Jebediah and Janona. And, and I will hold my like, breath until I pass out. I will. I'm not afraid. Yes, I am. I'm kind of afraid of that. But I, today, I, I come up with it. something really cool. Okay. I have this empty bag here. Right? Looks empty to me. Yeah. And so today to we are going to see if we can make something that represents freedom. Right? The 4th of July okay. is represented by the American flag. And you kind of yes. got those all over your head. And I had a little a hat. It's right here. I danced it off. That's right. I danced it off. So this is my flag. You have the little flag thing on your head. Mm -hmm. But we're going to see if we and can I make an American socks. flag in a way that you've probably never seen before. Ooh. Maybe. With a needle and thread? So what? No, not that way. Right. Much quicker, much easier, much Ooh. more efficient. So what? 3D printer. No. Oh. So what makes up an American flag? Like what colors? Uh, red, blue. White's not a color. Like, stop it! Red, white, and blue! How dare you! Okay. The absence of color. So, we'll start with these, okay? So we have, if you can see how many mm -hmm. of these, we have, I have red stripes. How many do we have there? I think there should be seven. Uh, three, There's one on the floor, too. Two, three, four, five, six, nine. Uh, no! There's seven! seven so if you sorry, can please five. put them in the bag. Okay. Perfect. Yep. And I have David somewhere... The, the white stripes, I think there's six of those because there were 13 colonies, so that's what the, the stripes represent. 13, 12, 11. No! 11, we're 9, counting six! There's eight. There should be six Two, there, young lady. Three, four, five, six. There's six. If you could put them in the bag. There's Thank eight. you. Now, there's one more thing, and I'm actually. I, <coughs> not Sorry, that you I said don't 13, so it confused me. I was not confused. that I don't trust you, but okay. this part here is very, <coughs> very. No, 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 no. I'm going to take care of this part. This is very important. The, ah, stop it! This is the, the stars on the blue field. And what we're going to do is uh, stop it. I'm going to put it in it here. Like I'm going to put it in here. And we are <laughs> going to do something very, very cool. Okay. So now we have the stripes in the bag. We have the, the red and white stripes. And we also have the blue field with the stars in here. Nice and and something amazing is about to happen. Are you guys ready? On the count of three. If you could just yell one. One. Two. Dos. Three. Three. And something incredible has happened. This is going to blow your mind. Okay. If we've done this correctly, we reach in and out of that bag, something incredible is going to happen. We have created an American flag. What did you do? Huh. Uh, hold on. Um, <coughs> something <coughs> must have gone. <coughs> what do you have? What? <coughs> it's covered with Rona. <coughs> They're called boogers, not Rona. Are they B Rona boogers? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Lots of hand sanitizers about to come into play. Uh, 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 how did you get this? I very carefully put it in the bag. Dropped it on the floor. You very carefully dropped it on the floor. I did? Yep. 
Are you messing with me? No. Uh, <clears throat> I also blew my nose in like eight times, but you ignored me because you were talking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, that's awkward. <laughs> we're going to <laughs> put this <laughs> back. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> and uh, we're going to. So now it's going to be uh, uh, red and white stripes in the We're just going to try it again. Okay. All right, everybody. One. One. <laughs> two. Twelve. Two. You and had half. one job. You're almost as bad as that old guy that was up here a while back. Here we go. One. One. Two. Two. And three. Three. And we have done it. If you can just reach in the bag and you can pull out. There's boogers in there. I, they're not mine. They're your You're boogers. Right, they're mine. Why are you afraid of your own Ooh. boogers? Oh, it's smoked up there. And if we've done it correctly, we should it's have, a bigger we have a complete flag of the United States yes. and an empty. See, wasn't that a better way of putting it together? That was Instead so of taking better. all that tedious time sewing it. Sewing it, because all those little tiny little stars. That's right. You know what? You know what this reminds me of? Every time I see an American flag, it kind of chokes me up a little bit. Well, makes me want to blow my... No, no, stop it! You messed me up! I'm sorry. No, it, 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 it is, makes me very patriotic. Oh. Especially around the 4th of July what time. It makes me mean? just want to... What does that mean? Huh? Patriotic? Mean patriotic? It makes you, uh, like, proud of your country. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, Proud okay. of your country. This flag stands for freedom. For freedom. The freedom yeah. that we have in the United States. Sorry. When I see this flag, you know what I think of? I think Thank of... Barbecue. Bar no, Freedom! Freedom. Freedom. Free Sorry, barbecue. Now, you're messing me up. That's good too, though. Nah, yeah, that is good. But no, uh, but I'm thinking that, that, that this flag represents freedom. As we can come and go as we want. We yep. can sp say whatever we want, wherever we want. We can, uh, you know, we can have right to, to, to worship where we want and when Whatever. we want. Whenever. It's beautiful. The However. freedom that we have in the United States is not shared across the world. In true. fact, there are some places that if you have church, they have every right to arrest you. Come and shut you down. They'll shut you down. That's right. And that would be bad. Can that you imagine? Would... Ooh, oh, you know what? So Sometimes I get a little, little scared that things are changing in our country. I hope it doesn't change because I love the United States and I'm the most patriotic guy that you're going to find. But you know what? If it comes with choice between God and my country, God's always going to win in this. Oh, I can tell you that. But this flag still reminds me of freedom and you know what? I think of the freedom also that we have when we're saved, when we're baptized in Jesus' name, when we repent of our sins, yeah. and when we're full of the Holy Ghost, we have a that freedom. That freedom is even better than all the freedoms that the Constitution gives us. That's out. exactly right. Ooh. That's right. The Bible is the better than any Constitution out there. That's right. It gives us more freedom. Now, like, like this. See, see how there's red stripes here? Yes. You know what this reminds me of? The blood of Jesus. He shed for us. When he died for us on the cross, he let his precious blood flow so we could be saved. In fact, the Bible says that he washed away our sins. We, they were covered Will with his blood. Crimson. What'd you say? I didn't hear Will your sins be as crimson. You, you shall be white as snow. They shall yes, be white as snow. He's going to take them exactly away. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah, his blood is so powerful. It's more powerful than any sin out there. God, and it's more powerful than any disease because it says by his stripes, by the wounds that he took on him, that's how we're healed. That's From beautiful. Everything. You know what? The blood Ooh. of Jesus gives us a freedom that you can't even imagine. And the white stripes. You know what the white stripes remind me of? Sterile environment S where I can be clean and safe from all... Yeah, actually, that's not that's too far off the mark. That's pretty good. Yes, yeah. uh, it reminds me of how we look when our sins are forgiven. You're washed white as snow. In well, fact... Like what I said, but then I just forgot I said it. And so yeah, that's so cool. Guys, I do that all the time. Every bad thing we've ever done... When we get baptized in Jesus' name, they get washed white as snow. In fact, this is the most beautiful thing about it. You know how when, like, if I mess up and I come yeah. back later and I say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know you're going to say you forgive me. But I'm not, probably not going to forget. Well, you, it's that. hard for you to forget, right? In fact, if I make that same mistake two weeks later, you'll probably say, I knew it. You did it two weeks ago and you yep. did it again. Like but Jesus... I mean, Ooh, I, I won't bring that up again. I'm sorry. I'm I, sorry. sorry I brought it up. But up. Jesus never brings stuff up. In fact, he gets our <laughs> sins and he throws them in the sea of forgetfulness. He throws them where he himself can't find them. Wow. He couldn't dig them up if he wanted to. Really? So when you go and you repent of something that you've already been forgiven of, God doesn't say, oh, here you are again. No, he, you know what he says? I forgive you. 
and were washed white as snow. And now how about this? How about the, the stars with the blue? Yeah, you know what that reminds me of? Not a clue. It reminds me of heaven. Oh, oh. That's right, because uh. we're going to rise to meet him in the air. The promise that if we live for him, when this life is over, when the rapture happens, or maybe something happens to us, and maybe we don't make it to the rapture, God is going to take us to a beautiful, beautiful place in the heaven. If we live for him with all of our heart, and we stay clean and committed to him and do everything right, God's going to take us to heaven. How cool is that? Oh, my goodness. So this flag oh. does represent freedom, mm -hmm. freedom of our nation, but also freedom in Jesus that goes beyond anything we can ever imagine now some of you out there may not have experienced the beauty of true freedom mm -hmm. some of you maybe you haven't received the gift of the holy ghost or maybe i don't care how young you are maybe you're five years old the bible says we've all sinned right everybody everybody Old has sinned and come short short of the glory of god like short, short of the glory of god if god's glory is up there you know we just can't quite like reach as it high as the heavens high as the heavens that's right we can't reach it but all we have to do is say jesus i'm sorry and he will forgive you of your sins and if you continue to pray and worship him you could receive the gift of the holy ghost right now in your living room or in your right bedroom there. or in your car or wherever you're at you could be filled with the holy ghost right this moment it can happen wow. and you can get baptized in Jesus' name, and you can be as saved as anybody. I mean, as saved as your Sunday school teacher, your mom and dad, your pastor, anybody. You are just as saved as they are. God saves everybody the same. That's right. No That's right. It's the same or... Holy Ghost. That's right. right. Same. So we're about to sing a song together, and this song talks about being truly, truly free. And as the song begins to play, I'm challenging you guys. Stand up where you're at. Let's lift our hands. Forget any distractions around us. And let's concentrate on Jesus because you can be free like you've never been free before. All right, guys, let's worship together. Jesus, we love you. Come on, can we lift our hands and begin to praise him? Being free. There's nothing like being free. Is that right? There's nothing like it. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Being free. Oh God, I want to be free. Anybody free in I want to be truly free, God. There's Hallelujah. Like oh free. Jesus, we love you. God, I'm sorry for anything There's I've done, God. Like I'm sorry, God, for anything free. I've done. Forgive me, God, for my sin. I want to be truly free, God. Can we sing that together? There's nothing like being free.